Good morning, Manhasset. I'm Zane Vaki. And I'm Rashawn Gardner. Please rise for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. This Saturday, April 29th, is the Woodstick Classic. This is the 139th annual meeting between Manhasset and Garden City, featuring boys and girls varsity and JV. The Woodstick Classic is the longest lacrosse rivalry in all of high school lacrosse across the entire country, as it has been going on since 1935. This game is very special to every lacrosse player, so be sure to attend and cheer them on. Speaking of sports, a graduating senior recently won a championship. Off to Licencia Mission to learn more. Manhasset's very own Paul Park just recently won the Triple Jump Indoor State Championship. We had the chance to talk to him about his experience. Ever since I was a kid, I, I always just kind of liked running because my dad also did track when he was my age, so I kind of just wanted to follow in his footsteps. I was a little nervous because obviously it's state, so I knew I was going to face my best competition there. I got state champion for triple jump and I got all state in the long jump. Honestly, I didn't expect to win the triple jump because I knew how good everyone else was, but it felt amazing to, to achieve that for the first time. I committed to UPenn recently. Um, I'm pretty excited, a little nervous because they ch take track really seriously there, but pretty excited. I want to thank my parents and my coaches for always believing in me, usually more than I believed in myself. Um, they always supported me throughout my entire track journey, and it really means a lot. We here at NBC want to extend our congratulations to Paul for this amazing achievement. Now back to the studio. Thanks, Lucene. Tonight is the World Language and ENL Honor Society induction. At 7 p.m. in the auditorium, students who have excelled in their language classes will become members of their respective honor societies and continue their esteemed legacy of Manhattan's World Language Department. Here at NBC, we'd like to extend a massive congratulations to each of these students and their accomplishments. Manhattan's very own Key Club is hosting the Book Fairies Drive. We sent reporter Megan Amato to see how you can get involved. Thanks, Zane. The Key Club is a prominent organization here in the secondary school. Their work encourages students to get involved and be upstanding citizens. We talked to Eileen Chum and Ali Lulove to find out more. Key Club basically is just a service um, type of club where we host a variety of different service events, trying to promote um, community. Um, we do a bunch of events throughout the year that are pretty big, and we also collaborate a lot with the Manhattan Chamber of Commerce, where we help them with, with their events as well. One of their upcoming events is the Book Fairies Drive, where they will collect books for children in need. The Book Fairies Drive is basically just a drive that we hold for about two weeks in April, where we collect books that are for young children, ranging from, you know, smaller type of, you know, infants to young kids that are up to, like, age 13 or age 12. Yeah, so it's like children's books to maybe, like... More. Young adult. Yeah, young adult books. It is from April 17th to April 28th. It's really donations for kids who like don't have sources to, or the economic like prosperity to have books like we do. And since like we have so many books, we thought all the books that you have at home that are like full of dust, why don't we just donate to a good cause? Book fairies, you can donate up to five books, and each would be one key club credit. And no DVDs, no CDs, um, strictly books. Right. So the military care package basically. We sent out like um, resources that the military or all the goods because like canned goods just so that they can have more resources and food since they are on a limit on a budget so we thought that since we have the opportunity to do so it'd be a privilege for us to give them some. Clothes. And then it was also started because one of the staff members came to um, Coach Lupa and was asking about if we could do this type of drive because her husband's in the military and was kind of saying how they have you know limited resources right. and that it would help that Key Club could promote this cause. Thank you, Manhattan! There's also another service opportunity coming up, SCA Fair, where members can help out the SCA Fair and get Key Club credit. And again, for the SCA Fair, you'll be working at like the booths, selling food or tickets or whatever, and then it's fun. It's a fun time. Next meeting is April 26th. Be there. Yep. <laughs> we urge all of our viewers to get involved however they can. Back to you guys in the studio. And that's what we have for today. I'm Rashawn Gardner. And I'm Rashawn's best pal, Zane Bakke. <laughs>